there's another part of America that's going smaller. We sent Brian McElhatton, the tallest reporter we could find, to investigate. Brian? Hey, thanks, Matt. Now, imagine selling your big old suburban house, moving into a smaller place, say the size of your living room. No, we're not talking about Keebler elves. We're talking about red-blooded, big-shouldered Americans. So many of them are moving into micro-dwellings. You could say it's what's trending. Like the Jeffersons, so many of us aspire to that deluxe apartment in the sky or that massive 4,000 square foot mini castle in suburbia. Heck, why not? This is America. Live large. It isn't sustainable to keep going on the path that we've been going on big houses. With that in mind, behold these little boxes on the hillside, the counterpoint to rampant materialism. Enter the micro dwelling. And this man, a small house evangelist who readjusted his entire life to move on down and live in one. It makes you find out what's important and what you really do need to function. Drop any of these micro dwellings next to Walden Pond and Thoreau would have been smitten. Look at the efficiency. Here's the list. Shelves that double as stairs to the lofted bed. The desk is also the dining room table. And of course, a couch for entertaining company. All of it crammed into 300 square feet. The of a college dorm room. They're also easily movable to new locations and they do not take long to build. It took a little over three weeks to build it uh, with my two sons after school and on the weekends. Those who extol the virtues of small-scale living say they can do without the luxury of big TVs and extra rooms. They get their kicks from living with minimal impact on the environment and saving big money. You can have something like this for about $30,000. It's a movement that's been long in coming and finally America's starting to get with it. Whether it's for a home, a guest house, or a fishing shack, micro dwellings are here and they are what's trending. For The List, I'm Brian McElhatton.